The following tag team match is set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Introducing first, making his way to the ring from Fayetteville, North Carolina, weighing 185 pounds, Remarkable Ryan Rembrandt. Ryan Rembrandt making his return to AEW Dark and Taz. This man is an impressive athlete. Yes, no doubt. Uh, definitely fleet-footed, uh, athletic as heck. Excellent cardio. He's a muscular young man. The hell of a tag team match we got here. And his tag team partner from Orlando, Florida, weighing 215 pounds, the upgrade, Mike Free. I feel like I've seen that entrance before here tonight, Taz. Yeah, yeah, me too. Uh, it, yeah, I'm still the same thing. You read my mind. Mike Reed, a very cocky, a very confident individual. Thus far, he's been unable to back that up here in AEW, but perhaps tonight is his night alongside Ryan Rembrandt. They got their own tag team pose. That's pretty interesting. Really not that interesting, but you get my point. <laughs> And their opponent from a location where you need an invitation, weighing 24 ounces of vodka cranberry, Isaiah Cassidy and Mark Quinn, private party. Well, private party, since they've returned to AEW after the lockdown, have been on an impressive streak, Taz. Yeah, they sure have, private party. Look, it's well documented. You watch them in the ring wrestle and apply their craft. These two young men have excellent chemistry together. They have a, a litany of offensive moves and attacks and moveset. It's insane. So it, it, every every time they wrestle, each match is different than the next because they just mix up their offense a lot. Taz, I think one of the, the most impressive factors about Private Party for me is that they have continued to grow, improve, and evolve. They have risen to the challenge here in AEW, and they've hit a couple stumbling blocks, but every time they do, they come back better, and they come back stronger. Well, that's part of the learning process, you know, hitting hitting those stumbling blocks, but it, blocks, but it, it depends what you do after it. Do you sit in the corner and, and weep about it, or do you suck it up and, and dust yourself off and get better, and that's what they do. They just try to keep evolving in, in, in their style, and, as, as a cohesive unit. Okay, see, that was not good, but they both got out of the ring. <laughs> Someone's got to stop. So. A, little bit, a little bit of lack of communication. I mean, I guess if nobody starts the match, we'll be here all night. I just saying how great that chemistry <laughs> All night. I say we'll be here all night. No. Um, <laughs> oh, the power right there. <laughs> yeah. Mark Quinn. Quinn, yeah. Showing off the power. Ryan Rembrandt does not appreciate being shown up like that. Let's see what happens here. So both men taking the time before they yeah, lock up or lock fingers. Bit of a slow start from the usually energetic private party. Good job by Quinn to control the head, get himself a front face lock, but counters out to two on one right there, controlling the wrist. Does Rembrandt. Oh, whoa! Oh. Great oh, Tierras. Wow. Great Tierras by Mark Quinn, followed up by an even better drop kick. That was a sick drop kick, man. Insane height right there. And Quinn wrenching Rembrandt over to the corner. Tags out to Isaiah Cassidy. A little bit of a misdirect there. Cassidy coming off the middle rope into, oh, into the head scissors that, that drove Ryan Rembrandt into the ropes. And they were going for a little bit of the kid and play there. But now the double trip attempt. Whoa, whoa. Double, no, single leapfrog and a single leg lariat there from Isaiah Cassidy. Keeping those shoes clean. Those orange kicks look pretty clean for sure. And Cassidy's always impressive. Oh! Nice chop. Ryan Rembrandt just got lit up there by Isaiah Cassidy and Cassidy Pressuring him back towards the ropes. Rembrandt with the switch. Oh, Mike oh, Reed. Reed, yeah. Grabbing onto the, the shoe of Cassidy. And now Cassidy 
Uh oh. Uh oh. He's vaulting off the middle rope. The dive steps. Oh, Ooh. kick to the face. Oh, Rembrandt right there. The guillotine over the top rope. That distraction by Reed definitely helped Rembrandt. Multiple boots to the midsection there. Rembrandt was a big time, uh, what was he, a painter or a musician? A uh, painter, right? He just paint stuff? I'm not big into art. What's up? No, please, please, Tess. Tell just me more. Honest. Please tell me more about Rembrandt's musical career. <laughs> yeah. He was a painter, right? Yeah. Uh, you might say he was the Mozart of painting. All right. Not like he's painting somebody's den. I know he's a painter. <laughs> Oof. Swing and a miss there. Whoa, whoa, the normal light suplex. Two. How much you bring out? Bridge out. You gotta get your feet under your son, gotta yeah. get those heels under you, pop those hips up a little higher, maybe you get a win. Ryan Rembrandt was a little, little flat-footed there. Good hammerlock, though. Good yeah. hammerlock, but he's keeping his chin, his chest down on his opponent's back. He's got it cinched in deep. Now bringing Cassidy back up to a vertical position. Rembrandt backing up to the corner, tagging in Mike Reed. And Reed. Oh! It was like a Russian leg sweep yeah, into, a, into a clothesline combination. Cover! One, two! That's what I initially thought he was going to do was a Russian leg sweep, but he switched it around. Now Reed bringing Isaiah Cassidy back up to his feet. And a right hand immediately drops Cassidy back down. That Mike Reed's got some poise. He's a veteran, you know, so he's he's a guy who's paid dues and he's been a journeyman, so he's just trying to, this is a great opportunity for him to be, uh, do, do, any, do anything with AEW, so see what he can make of it. Oh, the Manhattan drop, knee strike combination, great. One, two, again, only a two count. Isaiah Cassidy cannot be kept down. But if Rembrandt and Reed keep up the punishment, they might score something of an upset here tonight, Taz. Yeah, they got it. They got it. Just keep hitting and moving. Just keep just hitting moves nonstop on on you know while they singled out Cassidy, trying to let him get over to his corner. Which that well, there it goes. Well, now he does it just as you said, Taz. Yep, exactly. Quinn coming over the top with a bit of a flourish. He rolls Rembrandt into Reed, steps off his own partner, or st steps off the opposing partner, and Mark Quinn. Knocking both Rembrandt and Reed to the outside. Quinn over oh. the top with the Pescado driving his opponents to the floor. Oh. Referee Bryce Remsburg giving Quinn the 10 count on the floor. Yeah, Rembrandt's in a bad way right now. Quinn could kind of just do whatever he wants here, it seems, because he just can't get his sea legs under him, Rembrandt. Oh! Point of the elbow right to the upper back area. And Taz, importantly, he drove Rembrandt towards the corner so he could make the tag out to Isaiah Cassidy. Correct. Cassidy comes in. He's going to get a pump Quinn. handle. Oh! oh wow. Comes over the top in the stunner. The stunner. And look at this. What, now and what? Now, oh, the boot to the face. And Cassidy goes over the top. The assistant slice bread. One, two, no. Tag out. Let's go. One in and one out. Mike Reed keeping his team's hopes alive here tonight. Quinn sent over the top. Puts on the brakes. Oh, Cassidy comes it there it is. back over the top into the silly string. Cover one, two, no. Oh, Reed, not the legal man. That's it. That's it. I think Bryce Rumber, yeah, started uh, counting out of out of instinct, but then he corrected himself. And now, oh, wow! Great face buster there by Cassidy. I did that time. Might as well, right? Uh, oh, maybe a little gin and juice action. Is that what time it is? I don't know. I mean, I think when I heard him say that, I think it's time. Maybe not. Now it looks like Isaiah Cassidy sent on Atomico. Crushing the midsection of Rembrandt. Two, three, that is it. What a victory wow. for yeah. Private Party. Here are your winners, Private Party. I thought we were going to see a gin, little gin and juice, but that didn't happen. I heard Quinn say it's about that time. That's what I thought. That's usually what we would see, but no matter. Private Party got a big victory right there. A nice victory, I should say.
Yeah, very nice victory. Private party. Look at that. Looking great here tonight. And even though we didn't get the gin and juice during the match test, something tells me they're going to have a couple a little bit later. I'm going to have a couple in a few minutes.